CBS 42 is your voice, your station. And tonight, we're responding to a Birmingham neighbor's call for help. He says he's concerned about his family's health. Concerned because a crematory is being built less than a mile from his home. CBS 42 investigative reporter Chloe Vincenti is here now with a response from the city and the owner of that facility. Good evening. You can see here the groundwork is in place to bring a funeral home and crematory to District 1. It's been met with opposition by neighbors and even some officials concerned about air emissions. The owner tells me he will operate safely and plans to move forward have been backed by the city. We just couldn't believe they were trying to put a crematorium in our neighborhood. Kenneth Johnson lives in Birmingham's Echo Highlands, just 20 minutes outside of the city. He moved his family here for a backyard space and open air. As construction begins on the Cornerstone Funeral Home, less than a mile from his house, Johnson worries about the emissions from cremations once it's up and running. The issue is frightening because you got kids who want to go outside and play. It's not a pleasant thought, and other Echo Highlands residents agree, voting down the facility at a neighborhood meeting. We stayed firm that we didn't, we didn't want this in our neighborhood. But then it went to city council. Yes, it did. It turns out the neighbors don't have much of a say in the matter. Uh, my name is Bernard. A zoning request to allow the crematory to be built within a funeral home on Carson Road passed the city council vote without the support from the district it's being built in. You voted against it. What were your reservations with having a crematory in a neighborhood? Right, so I, I voted against it mainly because, like I said, I'm a representative of a group of people, and so it's very important to me always to be in tune with uh, what the overall group wants. City Councilor Clinton Wood says the funeral home was already within zoning to start with, and the only measure that needed to be voted on was the crematory. We will be in compliance with everything with laws and, you know, with the emissions that they're concerned with. You know, this is. It's not a big issue. Bernard Bugs is the owner of the future Cornerstone Funeral Home. He says it's needed in District 1 and ensures his operations will be safe. The risk of minimal. Right now, there's little evidence on the long-term health impacts of living near a crematory. We do know from the Jefferson County Department of Health that facilities like this can emit harmful pollutants. But the Alabama Board of Funeral Services says the amount is small and neighbors are protected. I can't say that there are no health concerns. I cannot say that. I, but I can say is they are heavily regulated. They are, there are controls in place. The way the machines are designed, they're designed to prevent those things. Johnson tells us he plans to keep fighting the facility, not taking any chances when it comes to his family's health. Everybody deserves a chance to breathe. Clean air. Bug sent us these documents from the manufacturer of the crematory equipment detailing how the machinery would operate without smoke or an odor. Councillor Wood says at this point the facility is pretty much a done deal, but neighbors say they're going to keep on fighting. Reporting in Birmingham, Chloe Vincenti, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. We'll continue to follow this story. We want to help you get answers about any concerns in your community. Email us at yourvoice at cbs42.com or send us a message on any of our social media sites.